All right, here's a video for our beginner guitarist. How to play slow dancing in a burning room for beginner. Easy mode status. So if you haven't got your capo, make sure you grab it. Um, we're gonna be chucking it on the fourth fret. And the uh, the chord shapes that we're gonna be going through are gonna be using the key of C shapes that we, we discussed early, in earlier videos. So um, basically we're gonna be jumping in uh, this five chords in total for the whole song. Um, so these chords are gonna be a C, an A minor, a G, an F, and then a D minor. All chords that you should be familiar with that you've, you've tried out through our beginner guitar course, which is free. And if you guys are new here and you're on YouTube, we have a free online music school, jump onto it. The links are in the description, have fun, and hopefully that will solve your problems here. But. For this song, uh, it's quite simple. The verse is going to follow three chord changes and it's gonna start on A minor. F, C. Now, if you wanna practice the, the changes themselves, make sure you listen to the song and then you understand what the vocal rhythm is doing uh, and use the vocal rhythm to lead you towards where the chord changes are happening. So it's like, it's not a silly little moment. It's not the storm before the calm. Use that as your like practice listening to the vocal rhythm and that's gonna lead you to where you need to go. Now, when he gets to that refrain chorus line, that's when he's gonna jump with the G. And he goes, and we're going down G3 and you can A minor F and we're going G. And you A minor F and then he comes back to this, this tag line that he, of we're slow dancing in a burning room. He comes back to the same progression as the verse. My dear, we're A minor, slow dancing to a F to a C. And that's it. That is the whole song, except for the bridge. And that's where he says, go cry about it, why don't you? And so he goes, go cry about it, the D minor. Why don't you A minor? And then a G, F, and go cry about it, why don't you? Then G, F, go cry about it, don't you? And then he does the tag. My dear, A minor, so we're slow dancing in a burning room. That is the whole song, beginner mode, very, very easy. So five chords and the truth, um, and you're gonna have heaps of fun with this. So remember, listen to the vocal rhythm. I don't want you going crazy on like uh, like strumming patterns and stuff. Just get really comfortable with these chord changes. Listen to the lyrics where they're happening. Um, it's gonna help you a lot. Uh, and for anyone who wants to be super, super cool and try out some fancy stuff, if you've been listening to the song, he would do like the which is obviously you saw, I just did some advanced cool things. He does all this really cool stuff. Um, but we can simulate that feeling uh, just by playing an A minor chord. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play an A minor chord. It's very, very fun. And what you're gonna do is before you play the whole A minor chord, we're gonna do a bit of individual picking. So this is a bit more intermediate, but um, uh, you don't have to do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the open D string and you're gonna like that. So you're gonna go, Open D string, hammer on to the second fret. And then you're gonna play the B string, which is already fretted. So you got your A minor shape, and then you take your second finger off. Oops. And then strum. And now this one is a really, really cool one. It's a bit bluesy of a hammer on. You're gonna go open on the D on the G string. And you're gonna hammer on the second fret and then pick the open G string again. So, it's a pretty easy way to do it. Saving you having to, doing all that stuff. So we're just gonna do that, that uh,
So you can see I'm doing that. You can pretty much do anything you want to after that point, just get one hit. Or it's all about getting the rhythm of the of the phrase. Anyway, hope that helps you. Let me know in the comments if it helps you. Um, and I will attach a little PDF of the chords if that confuses you at all, but it should be a lot of fun. So good luck everyone and have heaps of fun playing this song. If you want to learn how to sing and play it, um, jump to the sing and play section of our courses on school. Uh, and that will also have all that information for you there. Um, it's a bit longer of a, a longer of a video, but it is, um, definitely will get you all the results that you need. Okay. Have fun everyone. I'll see you guys soon.